Well, folks, I wasn't expecting to wake up to this this morning. I go and check my Twitter this morning, and ITV, you know, Thunderbirds Wiki announces that Lee Majors has been cast as Jeff Tracy in Thunderbirds Are Go. Whoo! That is a major coup. Given the resume that this man has from the $6 million man to the fall guy, and he was grandpa in the first ever live action Ben 10 movie, although I'm pr probably sure he doesn't want to remember that. Him with this very distinctive seasoned voice as the patriarch of the Tracy family. Yeah, I am totally on board with that. I think what's... And this is where I'm going to be a little bit objective. There are going to be people out there that are Thunderbird 1965 purists and say that he won't ever live up to Peter Dinley. Here's the thing. Peter Dinley will always be Jeff Tracy. He is the iconic template and measuring stick of how you portray this amazing character. But people also need to remember is that this is a new generation of Thunderbirds. This is for the next generation. This is something that they can have their favorites. Because, like I say, Peter, Dine Peter Dinley will always be Jeff Tracy. But they can have their favorites. And I'm actually going to go looking on to... I'm not going to watch my video because, no, I'm not doing that. But I am going to look at some of the, the comments that people have been putting in. Are you excited for the return of Season 3? Let me know in the comments below. Axel... So, thoughts on the return of Zero X and Lee Majors as Jeff Tracy. Zero X was a shock to me that they were actually going to bring that vehicle back in. I have a feeling Zero X may be a key to this. That this is somehow going to fit in. Which the second Fox actually remarks on the comment below. Mr. Knight. Mr. Fox. Mr. Second Fox. The official page on the Twitter said that episode 10 to 18 contribute more to the story arc from which it would from which I take there will be fewer rescue of the week episodes. I'm looking forward to Deep Water as this could be the episode where Thunderbird 2 goes underwater. Something I have mixed feelings about. Yeah, I mean we'd saw Thunderbird 2 go underwater I think it was earlier. No, 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 no. That was Season 2 with Long Haul, with Thunderbird 2 going into space. That's one thing, because it's actually using aspects from a few Century 21 comic book storylines where Thunderbird 2 did actually go into space. One of which, to save Thunderbird 3 from being trapped at the bottom of a sulfur lake on Venus in the story arc Solar Crisis... And the one story where Thunderbird 2 actually made a circle around the moon with Thunderbird 3, but ends up crashing on this mysterious island, Lord knows where, that's inhabited by living, breathing dinosaurs. I so want there to be a Thunderbird's Jurassic Park crossover. Come on, people, make it happen! <clears throat> um... But to get back to what he said, but it seemed to be featured in the trailer too, and therefore that could start the personal mission which is being built up. I want to know who the two, maybe maybe one, people in the two mysterious tweet, tweet posts were. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. But I'm also quite f thrilled that Jennifer Saunders of absolutely fabulous fame is also going to be a guest voice in Thunderbirds. Those that don't know, Jennifer Saunders is probably one of the funniest and most creative comedians British comedy has ever seen. And even Steven, even Steven Spielberg has said one of his biggest regrets in his career 
is that he never got to work with Jennifer Saunders. Now, that says a lot. So for her to be making a guest appearance on Thunderbirds, that's going to be something pretty special. I know that if they ever decide to get Adrian Edmondson doing a a version of his character Eddie from Bottom, I know Random will be all over that because he'll be like, like Eddie, ah, oh, what do you do on Thunderbirds? Well, you see, Richie, I don't have the fo I don't have the foggiest idea. I'm having to keep it clean because Richie and Eddie could go to places with their sitcoms. Good lord. Although, the I imagine, like, Eddie in control of Thunderbird 2. Oh, dear. <laughs> so many, so many wrong things would happen with that. Oh, dear. Anyway. I am totally, I am totally all excited for Lee Majors to come in as Jeff Tracy. I think his distinctive voice will offer something unique and different. And it finally answers the question of who will actually voice him now, because a lot of us had theorized for some time that it would be fan favorite Shane Rimmer, who's sadly no longer with us. And I, to be fair to Shane, I think he would have done reasonably well as Jeff, but Lee Majors, and I say this, Objectively, I think Lee Majors is a better pick. Simply because Shane had actually said he didn't want to do the role. Which is fine. And I think Lee Majors is actually a little bit younger than, than Shane Rimmer. Let me just check. Because for whatever reason, I can't record via Chrome on this with OBS. I have to do it via Firefox. Let's see. Lee Majors, according to his Twitter. Oh, he's 80. Huh. He's pretty good for a guy his age. But yeah. Lee Majors. Jeff Tracy. Head of International Rescue. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. 